uh, our lecture, we left at this, uh, you know, at, uh, I guess at slide number 22 yesterday, and we talked much about how to use, uh, you know, indications, small hints, which are hidden there uh, within a sentence. And we talk about that. Now, let's sum up this all discussion about heading, subheading, uh, footnote, explanation within text, explanation surrounding text, okay, uh, so, uh, explanation in yes. this surrounding text and so on. Now I want you guys to find the meaning of these words one to five from this text, okay? The answers are written here in front of you, A to F, you have just have to match and what, you know, each word with the appropriate meaning. So now, can you tell me, what is the meaning of tannin here? Reading the text, can you tell me what is tannin? A chemical. It's a plant-based plant based chemical. Yeah, right, right. Everyone got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, Abdul Rahman. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, you're getting it, right. So, which are plant-based chemicals? Now, if you see, this was a difficult word, and, and we found its meaning just after that word. Okay? Then, what yes, is sir. astringent? Tastes similar to a lemon. Okay, uh, a taste similar to a lemon, right? And where it is written? It is written here. A stranger. This one. Bitter taste sometimes associated with tea, actually. Okay. Yes. Now that bitter taste sometimes associated with tea, it's kind of what? It's kind of a taste which is almost similar to lemon. Yes, sir. Got it? So it's not directly yes. written as T, but option that is given to you, uh, it has been paraphrased to some extent. So anyways, yes. and again, if you see, you found its answer where? Just after the that, that specific word. What is yes, alkaline? Sir. Opposite of an acid, sir. Okay, Abdurrahman, are you with us? Why are you silent? Abdurrahman is busy somewhere. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Right, so alkaline and opposite of acid. And where did you find this answer? In the footnote, yeah, in the footnote yes. here. Okay. Then Ogal. This is Ogal. Yeah. It it Ogal is explained here. Abnormal growth on oak trees. Oak trees. Right. So uh, what is the answer then? F. F. Yeah. A problem found on a type of tree. Okay. Then yes, soluble. C. Able C. To able to dissolve in liquid. And this time, we didn't find answer just, uh, you know, as a proper explanation. But we got a clue uh, from the surrounding text. But how much they yes, dissolve. Sir. From this, we, we made an idea or made a guess that, well, it must be a uh, synonym of soluble then. Yes, sir. Okay. So that was all we covered yesterday. And, uh, you know, it was just to sum up everything. And I have already, uh, you know, covered this exercise in the previous exercise. This exercise asks you, where did you find each answer? In the footnote or explanation in the text or something, some hint in the surrounding text. So we have already covered this. Yes. Right? Okay. Thanks, sir. Okay, now I'm moving forward. And after this, we will start or we will enter into a proper reading section, right? Now, 
Right, sir. Uh, all those who are uh, who are familiar with IELTS test and you know they have studied something at their own or if they have appeared in the IELTS test they must be uh, knowing about skimming can anybody tell me what is skimming skimming is a finding skipping or fast reading fast reading yes you can say fast reading actually skimming means uh, you know we take we we just take out fats out of of milk okay that 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 cream which is uh, which comes on the upper surface of of the uh, of milk and we just take out that cream we we call it as skimming that's why the, it is known as skimmed milk. If you if you see, low fat milks are known as skimmed milk, right? In Urdu, yes. we say balai nikalna kisi cheez ki, right? Yes. So that means reading it quickly to get a broader meaning or a quick understanding. Yes, sir. Got it. Now, almost all of the all of the IELTS trainers, IELTS books, and uh, websites. All of yes, them sir. recommend to, you know, first skim read the passage. Amjad, uh, did someone tell you this thing? No, Jerry. No? Okay, fine. So you are lucky if none, nobody has told you this thing. They, what they say that whenever you get a paragraph, like if, whenever your test time starts and you enter section one, so as you enter section one, there's a large paragraph or passage or uh, containing multiple paragraphs is given, right? What they say that, okay, first of all, you just skim read the whole passage. And once you are done with skim reading, it will give you an overall idea of the passage. And uh, yes, then you can move on to questions and you can start answering your questions. Yes, sir. But practically, I have found, I have observed that this technique is not good for non-native people. This technique may be very good for natives, but not for us. Why? Yes, sir. Because when, once we are reading paragraph A, and that too very fast, we only understand about 40 or 30% of it. Yes, sir. At the most. And then... You know, you move on to the next paragraph. Again, you will understand only 30 to 40 percent. But as you will move to the second paragraph, you will forget what you studied or read in the first paragraph. So once you will reach the sixth paragraph, you would have forgotten everything uh, that you have read earlier. Yes, sir. Okay. So whoever tells you to skim read, just uh, skim read before answering the question. Don't follow him or her. Right? I will yes, talk sir. about this skimming once we will conclude our lessons. And then I will show you a paper, an actual test. And then we will discuss how you need yes, to sir. attempt uh, that, 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 that test. Right? So you don't yes, have sir. to skim read. However, however, Skimming is important technique that we use sometimes to find out uh, some uh, some answers. For example, now this is my whole passage written. Okay, this is my whole passage, and I read question number one, and to find its answer, I started reading from first line, and I found the answer maybe in let's say in fourth line. I found that answer. So I have yes. read up till this point now. Then I will move to question number two. And I will start reading from this point onward. And you know, I will continue. And let's say in the sixth yes. line, I found the answer to question number 22. Uh, sorry, question number two. Then I'll move to question number three. And I will again resume reading. Now, let's say I have answered seven questions and or six questions and I have read whole passage to answer these questions. Yes. Now, once I will move to question number seven, 
by that time i would have already read whole passage and i have read that passage in detail in depth to find the answers of these questions let's say question number 7 yes. ask me in which year uh, camera uh, was was invented now you see these digits and years are prominently written in the text you can very easily figure out where 1920 is written where 1847 is written where 1710 is written okay to find such answers you quickly just scan it and that scanning is actually the scamming thing yes sir got it so now i hope you are clear we will use this skimming technique uh, in a different notion but generally speaking all ielts trainers and all ielts books they recommend you to skim read whole passage before answering yes. any question but i strongly disagree with it i you know it's total wastage of time people spend students yes. spend about 7 minutes on skim reading in on on reading this whole passage and by the time they they reach the last line or last sentence of this passage they uh, forget what they had read in the first line or first first 6 minutes so don't waste yes. your time in skim reading unless it is required but still skimming is skimming is required at some places so now let's move forward and and see what is written here skimming a text will also give you a general idea of how the information is organized and blah blah now this thing is important in your own language you can probably skim read 100 words in 20 seconds Yes, in the sir. exam you should aim to skim read 100 words in 30 seconds obviously this is not your own language okay so now um, okay. let's let's move forward and have a look on this exercise i'm giving you about 30 seconds to read paragraph a you don't need to jump to next paragraph just read paragraph a and after 30 second i will ask some questions uh from from this paragraph okay are you ready your time starts now Okay, your time is up. Screen went blank. Hello, are you guys there? Yes. Sir. Now I hope. Yes, uh, sir. Okay, welcome, welcome. Okay, I hope you can't see anything. Sorry. On the okay. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome. So now, uh, can you can you tell me, anyone, any one of you, can you tell me, uh, the summary of this paragraph? what you started in it or what you read in it okay um i i think it was talking about the the diet change mm -hmm. children okay and in currently and the before uh, world war 1 something like this or something like that right very right very right good so you know by reading or by quick reading you can only remember this much that's it yes sir now if you have you are asked some question specific question then you will have to go back and again read it got it so yes sir reading uh, skim reading before reading the question is is a useless activity because you will have to go back and again read the question Uh, yes, sorry sir. again read the paragraph so now okay. hello yeah did you ask something okay yes no no sir <laughs> okay. i'm listening okay fine 
now i want you guys to follow my style not my style actually uh, follow my way of reading i want to highlight yes, certain sir. points like uh, maybe in in first four three to four lectures i will read every line for you okay i want to explain you the meaning of difficult words because i want you guys to figure out the answers without knowing the meaning of those difficult words right yes sir okay now let's start the diets of children have changed dramatically over the last century due to effect of technologies now what i want you guys to you see that what are the reasons or what are the factors uh, now here's a word i'm using which or that wait i'll explain this point to you which or that right when yes. to use which and when to use that so what are the factors which or what are the factors that change the diet here if you see it this passage mentions three factors due to the effect of technologies this is one factor yes, social changes this is second factor and evolving ideas about nutritional needs of growing bodies this is third factor yes sir so if question ask you what are the three factors let's say if, if that is the question what are the three factors which changed the diet dramatically over last century so these are the three factors i know you have read it but you didn't figure out that three separate factors have been discussed here yes sir right so these are three different right. factors and if i ask you if i ask you well what examples are given about technological changes which cause dramatically Uh, dramatic changes in the diet in that case i'm just asking you this point hmm. yes, right sir. in that case i'm not asking you these three factors i'm just talking about technological changes or this technology change factor that's it and within that there are two who said two no no one said okay uh, i guess i thought i heard as if someone said that two factors so these are transport improved transport improved canning and improved refrigeration yes sir these are three examples about technological changes about social changes this this guy or this author has given you one example such as establishing uh, establishment of boarding schools okay and this is third yeah. factor now one more thing here why we have five students today okay no okay we have 100% attendance today on the eve of uh, eve of uh, independence day so i i really appreciate that right now here one more point whenever you read a passage whenever you read a paragraph try to put yourself and try to activate your imagination uh, to be part of that passage like if that passage is talking about uh, let's say a world war 1 just try to put yourself in that time frame in that era it will really help you understand the passage more easily yes sir okay uh, i will try uh, to explain how you start imagining and how you put yourself in that that uh, frame of mind uh, while reading for example how did i come to know that these are three factors like this sentence is showing me but you know when when i reached up till this point dramatically over the last century due to effect of technologies 
So what technologies you can think of? Can you tell me? Can you give me some more examples other than transport, caning and refrigeration? No physical activities and uh, children no, are... Uh... That, that, that is not about technology, actually. Oh, yeah. It's, it's specifically about diet and technology. For example, use of microwave. Use of pressure cookers. Yes, yes sir. Right? Use of uh, ready-to-cook items. Yes. Got it. So, what do we mean by now? Can you tell me how transport have changed? Can you tell me how transport has changed the diet? Oh, transport. Yeah. yeah. Before maybe people people used to walk or on farms on. Uh, no. So I mean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Or okay. Okay. Again, come again. Sorry. But now. Uh, there's cars and there's a no, that, or... that is again physical activity. Now look, try to, why I'm emphasizing or spending too much time on this. This was very simple. You know, when you read without thinking about the text, you don't understand what is written there. Okay. Now, well, this, this was, let's say these are three villages or four villages. And now this is my city. Vegetables, fruits are grown here in these villages. Right? right. Yeah. Now, all the produce, farm produce, which was, you know, planted here, it could reach this city, let's say by horses, uh, in one day. So that means this city will use the vegetables, fresh vegetables of, of which are produced here in these four villages. A city which is located here at a distance of 300 kilometers cannot eat these vegetables. But because of good transport now, one person, you know, sitting in the North Pole can eat the same food which is, you know, uh, grown here in the south. You got it? So previously, yes. you know, if something is grown in the south, southern region, people in that region, only people in that region could enjoy that food. But now, that food can be transported quickly within 24 hours to the, uh, to an other city, which is about thousands of miles away. You got it? Yes. So that is actually change, diet change. You know, pre otherwise this city, city would have relied on, on the vegetables which were uh, planted or grown here uh, in, in these villages near to this city. Got it? So yes. try to imagine it. Try to get the maximum meaning of it. Now, what do you mean, mean by caning? Again, we can preserve these things now, and these can be sent, you know, uh, abroad even through caning. And another factor, once you can, you know, uh, you preserve a food, you can enjoy mangoes in the winters. Okay, yes. and you can enjoy uh, maybe pineapple or you can enjoy uh, oranges in the summers. I'm talking about my local, you know, seasons. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what is there with Abdurrahman, but I hope he is getting it. You are understanding what I mean. Yes. Right. Similarly, refrigeration, like now, uh, our Eid is near, so many of us will refrigerate or freeze much of our meat. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sir. So you know, this is another thing. So what? What? Why I'm giving you so many examples? I'm giving so many examples because I want you guys to, you know, think deep and try to imagine what this sentence actually mean. Why author has written this thing. Okay. Yes. Now, who will explain me social changes? He has given one example, such as establishment of boarding schools, how it has changed the diet. 
Come on, guys. Try, try, try. So sure, Jenny, huh? The vision was falling to me. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we can say <laughs> we can say that uh, like you know, boarding school is they provide food. Exactly, you are right. You are right. So now yes. that food is calculated and measured, and that food has got specific timings. But you know, one if a kid is at home, he or she can enjoy that food. You know, maybe multiple times in a day. Whenever yes, he or she feels hungry, he or she will open the fridge or refrigerator and you know just eat something. But it, okay, now actually doctor has ran away again. Uh, but I want you guys to tell me or explain me the meaning of this third factor. Whosoever will explain me this thing will eat pizza from my side from his own pocket. Sorry? I didn't hear the question very well. Okay, my question was, whosoever will explain me, what does this factor mean, the third factor? Okay. Whosoever will answer me, he will eat pizza from my side, from his own pocket. <laughs> From his own pocket, right? <laughs> from his own pocket. Yeah, but it will be from my side, right? So now, I know Amjad will come out with a very good answer. Don't, but I'm thinking about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Evolving okay, ideas. Let me, uh -huh. let me try it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. I think is, is here is about the nutritional needs of the of needs the, uh, mm -hmm, needs of the, uh, the small um, uh, I mean of children of, kids, of children of children mm -hmm. we can say that before people they don't know about the nutrition the, the needs or food requirements maybe like breastfeeding uh, some in, in special and food consideration of very right too you are very right except one thing okay try to explain it more what does this evolving ideas mean evolving it means current ideas uh evolving means every day things are changing new new ideas right? new ideas now how 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 we say it let me give you one example sometimes back people used to eat cheese butter and and fats animal fats right a lot yes sir then we heard that oh, oh this is not good for you know health please don't eat it and we shifted to vegetable oil and we yes, just sir. omitted you know uh, these fats from our diet but this idea was again evolved and new researches they showed that no this is very important for your bones and you know your growth so give this thing to your kids as much as possible. Right? So they said, okay, well, for this, we are providing you with some good quality food nutrients. If you see nowadays, uh, whenever you go to some uh, big mall, sorry, big store or